guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper windmill. So first we have to get all the things we need. We have a glue stick, a pair of scissors and a piece of paper that is squared, a nail and a straw and a wood stick. And a roll of sellotape. So what we're first gonna do is we have so we have to ha first use this we have to fold it like square like um triangles like that and then make it flat then open it back up and then do the same thing but the other way around and then that helps you a little bit with those lines so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just cut the sides, but like halfway of the line on every single one. So then it's like when you glue it, it's gonna be, you can just stick those and then you can just, so it gives you like more ways, more edges. So now, we have to get the glue stick, and what you're going to do is you're going to be piling them on top of each other. So first, we're going to just put some glue right there in the middle. Then, you have to make sure it doesn't go all bendy, so it has to be like a curve, make sure it all bends and folds like that so when you finish all the sides it should look like this and next you have to make a hole right in this so straight in the middle so then when you finish this you have to get the nail so put make sure the head of the nail goes through then after you finish that, when you get the edge of the straw, you can put it right on the back, like that. And on the straw, you have that hole that you used to pin. So then you can just poke it right in. But don't put too much pressure or it will like start folding. And then, because this will get a little bendy, you take this stick, you put it there. So, then when you get the stick under, you can, if it, it doesn't matter if it's too long. So what you can do, you can put some sellotape around, and then I'll put a little bit more sellotape, just to make sure it's steady. And then, there you go. There it is.